Oh my god! Look at this! There's like surprises everywhere! Oh my god! <laughs> How crazy is this? We love buying cheap cars. Yes! Be it Gumtree, Facebook Marketplace, Auto Trader, or even at auction, it's safe to say we've done it before many times over. But what about buying a car blind from someone I'll never meet? Sounds sketchy as hell, so let's give it a go. <laughs> See you later. Hello. Oh, hello. How do? Yes. Oh no, are we oh, still that, doing no, that? No, we've got to do that. Oh, we, we've got to do that. Uh, so, um, this is something new, isn't it? Uh, yeah. This is probably going to be one of the last times that we can film together. Oh, maybe. For a little while, yeah. because we're probably going to be on lockdown. So yeah, welcome to a, a, a car throttle vlog. Essentially. Today's plan is even more weird than the whole potential <laughs> lockdown thing at the moment. So someone on Instagram messaged me, said, G'day mate, I'm going to be going to Australia because I'm Australian. Would you like to have my car for £50? That's all he wants, right? All, all he wants. Yeah. So I was like, all right, where is it? Oh mate, it's in Bristol, which is about 150 miles away. And apparently there's a crate of beers in there as well. No way. Way. Anyway, we're going to head to Bristol in what's probably going to be the sketchiest car purchase that I have ever done. Let's hit it! Kick it! You've actually bought a car without ever seeing it. There might not even be a Honda Civic Ooh. in Bristol, so this could all be a massive wasted trip. Yeah, that'd be really annoying. That would be so annoying. Do you remember when I, um, when I broke down in the MX-5, I posted on my Instagram saying, can anyone help me? And then someone messaged saying, I've got a spare wheel and a jack. I'll be with you in 25 minutes. An hour and a half later, I was still there. To be fair, he did get you good. Oh, he but, got yeah, me yeah, so but, good. Yeah. But, but this would top that. This would massively <laughs> top that because we'd be spending loads on fuel. <laughs> Shit. What? He told me that the battery is flat. Uh, I think I have my jumper pack with me. I think, oh, I think. Lucas has also written, he is laying on top of the plastic sump guard on the passenger side. So hopefully in Bristol, no one saw him put the key there. Because <laughs> if they did, they'd probably nick the car. That would be a video. I'm trying to find my stolen car <laughs> that I've never seen before. Anyway, I'm super excited to A, hopefully be buying a car for £50, and B, for going on an adventure. This is what it's all about. You got your best colleague here. I have a colleague here, you're right. We'll keep you posted on progress. Oh my god, you had all the time in the world. You bottle job. <laughs> All right, Ethan, we are 0 0.3 miles away. Predictions, is the car gonna be there? Does it exist? Oh, I'm gonna go yes, I'm gonna trust Lucas. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yes as well, because he said there's a crate of beers in the boot as well. Why would you make that up? That's, oh, that'd be a really elaborate prank. Right, so uh, Lucas, we are going to your old house, if you actually exist. What's behind this van? <gasps> oh my God. Is that it? Yeah, because he said there's no wing mirror. <gasps> Oh, it's true. My new car. Look at that. He's even written a note. He's very organised. <gasps> There's jump cables. <gasps> oh my god. All these trees. What's going on here? He's put. Please give me this. Look at this. Look down there. Oh my. There's cable ties. There's. Oh my. Oh, oh my, my god. Boy. Holy shit. There is a, a Halfords. Toolkit as well. There's like surprises everywhere. Where's the key? Oh yeah, the key, right. Plastic sump guard. That's not a sump guard, is it? No, that's a box. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> this is like the best game. Let me just remind you, someone on Instagram messaged me, a guy called Lucas saying, I'm going back to Australia, I have this car, you can have it for 50 quid. And then he just handed over the, the title to me online. We'd never met. And here I am with a car. Mate, Lucas is an absolute hero. I want to be his girlfriend. But we're not home and dry yet. This could all be a big ploy. He could work for Top Gear or one of our rivals. And this car could explode when we open it. That's true. Okay, this well, is you, very you true. do it. I'll stand back a bit then. We're 
we're good. <laughs> Please give me this. Oh, I think he wants us to put that engine in there. Yes, I'm afraid, Lucas, that's probably not going to happen. Budgets are a bit tight. My bros! <laughs> Imagine Lucas is there and just shake his hand. All right. All right, Lucas, hold out your hand. I think it's quite big because the seat is all the way back. Should we just see how tall we think he is? <laughs> I'm guessing he's like six foot two at he's least. He's a sixer, isn't he? Oh my god! Oh, extension what? kit. This is very, very useful. Lucas, I love you. Mate, Lucas is an absolute hero. I want to be his girlfriend. Lucas, I love you. <laughs> this is so bizarre. <gasps> Look at all of this. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, let's see, you said beers. There are beers. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have that <laughs> Yeah, completely dead. Yes! Should we get it started? Let's get it started. Let's hope there's an engine in there. Oh! And we have VTEC. What a day already. This is so cool. How crazy is this? It's pretty mad. Yeah. So behind the camera now is Rory. What about Rory? Oh, Wait, look, we've got the... Oh, right, okay. Stamp, stand Everyone stand back. Oh my god! That sounds really healthy. Are we all right? Yeah, we're good. Slow milk there. This is amazing. Thanks, Lucas. <laughs> Right, so we've made it to Clifton Suspension Bridge, which is well, over there. We're, yeah, we're on Clifton Downs. So yeah, no. so the car obviously drives. It drives all right. There's a bit of a knock coming from the front, which I'm going to investigate. But engine is good, gearbox is good, brakes are good. They were full of rust, but that's all gone now. Should we have a quick look yeah. at the car? See the good things, the bad things. There's no bad things. There's no bad things. It was 50 quid. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a quick look. Come on. We've got 131,000 miles on the clock. Engine sounds sweet as a nut. The rear living quarters. Loads of room. We've got uh, oh, screen washing there. windy windows as well, which means that there's fewer things to go wrong. I mean, again, look at the array of things that, uh, that I've been given. Dash and trim cleaner, upholstery cleaner. Never been used in this car, quite clearly. Should we have a look, see if there's any paperwork? Oh, wow. Which there is. Ooh. Oh, look. Oh, breathalyzer. Yeah, I mean, we've got a whole bunch of receipts and whatnot. Service book. The, Place the, your bets. Gonna have some. It's gonna have a lot. We're going a lot. Yeah. Introduction and delivery. 12,500, 33, 24, 47, 76, 87. Oh, cam belt and water pump change at 87. That's good. Means that the cam belt doesn't need to be done for a little while. Even if this was an absolute shitbox, it's 50 quid. The scrap value for this car, what do you reckon, about 150 quid? 120, I'd say. Yeah. 120 quid. So, but either it's way, not, it's just in good condition as well. You just need to clean up. Yeah. Bit of a detail, uh, get that wing mirror fixed. The battery as well, I've obviously switched off the car because we had to jump start it. So I'll see if it works. Come on, baby. She's a dream. Uh, this car also has a name, by the way Seichiro. Seichiro the Civic. I don't know what Seichiro means. I'm going to have to look that up. Seichiro Maki, uh, a football player. Seichiro is a fictional character created by Clamp in their 1990 manga Tokyo Babylon. Oh, hello. But look, there's no display. It's actually quite quite rare for us to have a working radio in a car we've got. It really is. Well, I mean, it's, it's only semi-working because I can't actually see what's what. There's basically 50 quid's worth of treasures in here alone. All the bottles. Yeah. Jump leads. Yeah. Screen wash. Yeah. And the beer. And the bit, oh yeah, the bit doesn't take it well over. Should yeah. we have a look what beer it is? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh nuts. Oh my goodness. <laughs> IPA, yes. Yeasty boys. Cream soda pale ale, oh lush. Nice. This is amazing. Right, are we happy well, with our haul? Yeah, very happy. Lucas, you're a... You are an absolute legend. Let's go for a drive. Right, so initial impressions. I mean, it drives. Which is a great start. I think a car like this is worth, what do you reckon, 450, 500 quid all day long? Oh yeah, 500, yeah. Oh yeah, nice yeah. round 500. It's got MOT until September as well. Brakes are good, steering's okay. There is a little bit of a knock coming from the uh, front suspension. It has had new lower control arms, 
fitted recently apparently. Uh, maybe they weren't fitted 100% correctly. I don't know. The engine sounds good. Ooh. Ooh. That's a bit meaty. Is it 1.6? I think it's a 1.6, yeah. I'm pretty sure the 1.4s didn't get VTEC. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I think you're right, yeah. No, this version they didn't. Ah, right, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to use this as a little run around for a little while. Thoughts? You like it? I do like it. Really spacious. It is, isn't it? It's good. I'm looking forward to hitting the motorway on this. And I've got a quarter of a tank, so that should get me home. While we're in Bristol, let's go and have a little look around. Come. Oh, this one's. Can you. What? Can you do the door, please? Happened? I don't know. Should we go have a look at this? Oh, yeah, let's go have a look. Oh, that's lovely. It's a shame Ethan hasn't seen it. That is very nice. Oh. <laughs> Any more to be said? Oh, I'm pleased for you. Thank you very much. You've done very well. I have actually locked out massively. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If anyone else wants to give me a call, 50 quid, hit me up on the DMs on Instagram. I'm going to drive home now. Been here an hour, picked up a car. <laughs> Jobs again. A few weeks later, I caught up with the mysterious yet heroic Australian stranger to talk about the car. How are you, mate? I'm very well, mate. How are you? Yeah, good. Uh, so I've got a few questions for you, if that's all right. Yeah, yeah. Why did you go back to Oz? Obviously, with everything that's going on, so many flights were getting cancelled. I just thought it's now or never. So does that kind of explain why you messaged me and said, hey, have my car, because you know that I love cheap shit boxes, and you were like, Alex is going to have this 100%. So first of all, I tried giving it to a car wash for free. They didn't want it. They uh, didn't want a free car? I tried selling it to a garage at the bottom of the street that you picked it up from. They didn't want it. And so I thought, who would stoop this low? And, uh, you know, message you on Instagram. How long did you have the car for? I didn't have the car for very long. I drove it to Paris over Christmas, which didn't end up going very well. Um, because it needed new sort of front lower control mounts and they, they were shot, which ended up costing about 500 quid. I think the car cost 500 quid. Bloody I hell. Have, I have not exactly been Mike Brewer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good 950 pound loss. My loss is your gain. In the video, I sat in the car and the seat was quite far back. So I put you at about six foot two. How tall are you? Six foot four. Six foot so four. Bloody hell, he's a tall boy. Anyway, Lucas fan, it's been a, a pleasure to, uh, to actually chat to you and uh, it's been loads of fun going on this blind adventure, really. Um, yeah, there you are. You're gonna be in a car throttle video. So uh, everyone, this is Lucas. He's the hero who gave me the car. Enjoy the sweet, sweet meter. If you enjoyed coming with me to pick up my new 50 pound car, then subscribe to the channel and you can watch some more videos down there. We'll leave you with a bit of brizzle.